Right, here we are on a nice sunny day in the winter. I'm going to go along the beach, have a little beach ride and see how it does. We have a nice little cruise along the beach. Probably do about, oh, about 10 miles there, 10 miles back. So let's ride down to the beach. And at the moment I got it on mode one. I don't know whether you can see, but mode one, just to go along the road and get to the beach basically. So, so we'll see. I haven't got to have a go on the scooter recently over Christmas because it's been raining, it's been wet, it's been too wet for the scooter. I mean, I wouldn't take the chance of it, you know, being fully waterproof because <laughs> it is electric after all. So let's have a little go down the beach. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. It's a nice ride anyway. Nice quiet roads. That's it, lovely. It's so nice being back out on the scooter. Rather than wasting money on petrol prices because they've gone up so much. It's almost ridiculous, it honestly is. <laughs> so we'll hang a left down there. Just nice and slow, nice and easy. <laughs> and I got it on single motor as well. Which is the back motor. motor. Right, let's roll. <laughs> we'll basically just go across here. and onto the beach. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta watch the cars, obviously. <laughs> so I don't get splattered. So I'm gonna try and drive the whole beach path today all the way to the end, which would be Hengisbury Head. But it's absolutely freezing and I don't have any gloves. So I'm going to put it onto mode two, I think. So when there's no people around, I can go a bit quicker. I'll probably have it on single motor the whole way as well. Because as you can see, it's pretty busy everywhere. <laughs> right, it's a nice day for it anyway. So let's roll. <laughs> We're going to go past um, Bournemouth Pier and then uh, Boscombe Pier. Um, then eventually we'll hit um, Hengisbury Head, <laughs> which is, well, I mean, it's probably about 10 miles, I'd say. I don't want to go too fast when there's people about. Just to basically save anybody basically saying anything to me. Because you know what people are like these days. Wow, look how nice it is down here. Look, look at that. 
absolutely calm waters no surfing today <laughs> i mean it is probably about nine o'clock 9 a.m now so all right let's roll let's get going it's only been we take all bloody day we're getting dark oh man i can barely feel my hands it's so cold man oh So a fair few people out basically walking their dogs and running got lots of like runners and cyclists and stuff which is pretty cool <laughs> we'll be heading past my one of my surfing spots as well and the uh, surfing shops you can basically hire surfboards and stuff so I'll, uh, I'll show you that that's pretty cool <laughs> there's actually people on the beach which is quite nice to see <laughs> this is a nice thing to do in the morning on your scooter well i'm basically uh cruising at tw about 20 20 miles an hour which, which is which is quite nice like a, a sort of a steady speed but when there's people i just slow down on it because it just saves anybody basically <laughs> Just my luck. Gotta bloody get off and walk. If you can see, we're coming up to Bournemouth Pier. It's got a uh, tightrope as well that goes from the end of the pier to the well to the sands. Basically, it goes across the sea. If any of you didn't know, <laughs> it's pretty good. It costs like twenty quid though, twenty pounds. Oh, a nice clear bit. <laughs> this is coming into Bournemouth Pier, which is which is normally like really busy. So here we go, Love, lovely Bournemouth. There's Bournemouth Gardens, where them two trucks are.
and there's the zip line there that's like the beach side of it which is um, pretty amazing oh my nose is running <laughs> going the road I think. Now here we can get up to quicker I'd say. <laughs> All sorts of building works going on and stuff. It's amazing when there's like nobody about. You basically, well, there's like nobody, see? Let's go onto the path, because the road ends there. shortly shortly we'll be coming up to uh, Bo uh boscom pier which is the uh which, well which, which is basically the surfing like area all right, all right, all right man <laughs> just get past this water you don't want to be getting it <coughs> saturated <laughs> Nasty bits of water. Not good. My nose, so much. <laughs> oh, God. We're coming up to Boscombe Pier, which is not as good as Bournemouth. There's nothing, there's nothing really on it, nothing to see, except a lot of people go fishing off of it, and there's a little mini golf. Yeah, you, I, I think you have to take your own golf clubs, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, they, it's good surfing here, pretty good surfing. Let's just go up on the path for a minute. Here's Boscombe Pier. 
we got here pretty damn quick. Probably not allowed to go on it with the scooter, so I'll stay off. But there you go. <clears throat> not the best place to to go, to be honest. Let's put it onto dual motor now. So like basically maximum uh, power. <clears throat> Actually, better not. Not yet. It's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty busy down here. I don't want to be getting told to get off the promenade or promenade. <laughs> Got a nice harvester there. It's not any waves today to surf. <laughs> it's pretty quiet as well. Here's the surf hire shop. Oh, lovely big surfboards. Wow, looks so nice. <laughs> nice little, uh, well, I wouldn't call these beach huts. I'd call them sheds, but they obviously are beach huts for some reason. I think you could just about fit one person in there. <laughs> So let's have a little stop here. Actually, I won't do it near the bins. So, I've still basically got 100% battery, which is amazing. <laughs> Since as I've come, probably, I'd probably say about five miles, six, six, no, six miles. Just gonna chill out here for a bit, warm my hands up. And I've had it on single motor the whole way. <laughs> I've been doing like 35 at some at some areas. Let's have a little rest. And then we'll be heading straight to from here. It'll be straight to Hengersbury Head. It should get pretty quiet now. So I might do a double motor from here. See if I can get a quick 50. A, nif a nifty 50 out of it. Wow, look how calm the sea is. So nice. good for spearfishing today very good very calm doesn't even look like there's much of a tide Right, let's put double motor and uh, it's in it's in mode three as well because I don't want to I don't want to mess about with half power let's do full power 
<laughs> Sorry? Yeah, this one did, yeah. It's like a 55 mile an hour one. How many? Uh, 55. What? Yeah, it's a bit, a bit crazy. <laughs> is, it is it legal? No, not yet, sadly. But um, I've come from Branksham. Yeah. I'm going to Hengisbury Head and back. Yeah. And so far, the battery is full still. So. Oh, it's pretty. So, so, so it's a competence, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm just seeing how how wet how wet. Instrument. Yeah. It's got two motors. I mean, really? yeah, it's waterproof. 55 miles an hour. You think? Yeah. Is that yeah. dangerous? Um. Well, you if know, you, with potholes and stuff like that. Yeah, I suppose you've got to be really careful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've done it along um, like country roads where I've checked if it, I've checked the flatness of it before I've done it. Yeah. But it is fun. I bet it is. <laughs> you can get to 50 miles an hour like that. It's that's it's the, dumb. Yeah, electric it's the electric. Motor. Yeah, it's crazy. It's got all the lights, all nice lights on it, and and all that stuff so like that. It, so it satisfies legal requirements. Really, yeah, yeah. Without a registration number. Yeah. Well, hopefully one day they'll legalise them, but yeah. I, I don't know. It's unlikely. You better get with the Uber deliveries, then, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Right, let's head on down to Hengisbury Head. It's quite a way still. I'll, I'll say it's probably about seven miles. Well, that guy was impressed. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one riding it. I'm definitely impressed with it. And I've also got a um, a Dualtron Mini, which does 30. And that, I mean, I was contemplating bringing that one instead of the Thunder today. But um, well, I can try. Uh, I can try that next time uh, on another beach or somewhere else, wherever. <laughs> <laughs> so a dog trying to trying to keep up <laughs> and also if you look to um well when we get further up towards uh the end you can see uh the isle of wight which is not too far from where we're going that is exactly another 10 miles from where we're where we're turning round. I've got to check whether it's still recording actually. <laughs> it actually might not be, I don't know. Yeah, we're still recording. That's a good feeling. That acceleration. It's just, it never gets old. I think I've been recording for about half an hour now. <laughs> I probably won't put all this video on YouTube. I'll, I'll probably clip it down a lot. Oh, I can see the Isle of Wight now. It's like, it's like dead ahead. It's like a like a um, grey outline of it. Can't can't really see it very well. All right. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Oh. I literally can't even feel my bloody fingers. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, let's just go in the road. I think it should. Let's put double motor on and go in the road. It'd be alright. It should be all right around here. It's reasonably quiet, so all right, let's rip it. Let's rip. Exactly full speed. Mate, that was so damn fast. Oh, oh my god, my hands. This is the cafe I want to go to and get a burger in here. Oh, mate, my hands literally froze off. Let's go to Hengisbury Head anyway. Let's finish this. Let's finish this mission. <laughs> this is pretty much Hengisbury Head. Muddyford Harbour or Christchurch, either one. It's so nice, isn't it? Some some amazing need to get something hot I'm so cold I'm literally frozen through oh. All right. I should have done this in the uh, su in the summer morning I literally can't f I can't even talk man my lips are frozen <laughs> Morning. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, this sign good. We'll have to go. <laughs> oh, lovely. Mud. Pure mud. Now these are chalets, these are beach huts down here. I mean, they've got a bed in them and everything. So. <laughs> right, coming onto the, sand, the sands now. So, so, but this is the bit. <laughs> I think there's a path. It goes down the end here, so. But this is basically Hengisbury Head. So that was my journey. <laughs> I should have measured the miles, but I didn't come that prepared. <laughs> I think it was about about 12 miles. I just did, and here we are. Hengisbury Head is basically the very end of the beach path and there's a little calf down there which I'm going to get something hot because I am for a reason but yeah the end of, the end of here is is pretty cool because you've got the Isle of Wight over there you can see the outline of it there's the uh, there's the needles which I've sailed to and sailed around that's the Isle of Wight bit of a misty day <laughs> and if you can see sort of that direction that white thing there sticking up is Hurst Castle which I've sailed to many times that's basically the entrance to the Isle of Wight and you can get to Southampton Docks that way but this is a pretty big part of the sea But anyway, back to the scooter. <laughs> it done really well. I kept changing it. I kept sweat. I kept switching from dual motor to single motor numerous times. It's it's amazing. I can't complain whatsoever. Whatsoever. I've been on the sand. I've been on the mud. I've been on the flats. It's just been. I mean, I can't say anything, anything bad about it at all. I'm generally just really happy with it <laughs> and I've done a video recently um, about the scooter in the night how the lights do how far I can see and whether you can just use the scooter in the night with just just the scooters lights and no extra lights and I think it went pretty well so check that out um, yeah and I'll see you next time Woo! <laughs> cheers